Hey, have you ever wondered how much of the stuff you don't want in your soil is actually already in your fertilizer? Yeah, me too. Lucky for us, California State and Washington State's agriculture departments maintain public online databases with just that information. Let me show you how to take a look. Let's find a fertilizer I use in my garden on both sites. I like to check both databases because there are often differences in what their respective samples and testing find. Here's California's test results and here's Washington's test results. I'm just a dude who likes to save money by growing food at home and I'm unqualified to tell you how to use this information yourself. So instead of pretending otherwise, here's some general notes to keep in mind. Organic doesn't automatically mean you're in the clear. Heavy metals can and do bioaccumulate so if you care about these values, take a look regardless of whether you're using organic or synthetic fertilizers. Different countries, even different states, maintain different regulations on heavy metals and agricultural products. You may want to ask the company directly if this data is applicable to the products that they sell in your area. A strong fertilizer you apply infrequently cannot be directly compared to a mild fertilizer you apply frequently without taking into account those use rate differences. If you want to dive deep into the role fertilizers play into the accumulation of heavy metals into the soil, I will link to this paper from you. You see Riverside in the description. Happy gardening.